this. This right here sums up this whole video in a single post. What? I'm pretty sure some people are gonna need a little bit more context than that. So, allow me to elaborate. Hello everyone, my name is Nimda.exe and welcome back to the channel. We are here for another video on this that you guys all love the first one. The hell with it, I will make another one. Blah! I am your local cyberpunk, your local edge runner, and internet sentient computer virus with knowledge in and in all things corporate corruption, government cover up, and random Twitter nonsense, apparently. <laughs> oh my god, it has been quite a few couple days. <laughs> so, we got some weird stuff going on, and of course, it's the, the main epicenter of it is, of course, Twitter. Because the Twitter is apparently a dumpster fire that just won't go out. But we're about to get into it. We are about to get into it here. So apparently, now, at least as far as Twitter is concerned, it is illegal to be a woman that is extractive. Oh my god, this world right now is literally on fire. The world is literally burning down around us. At least America it is. <laughs> and a lot of the rest of the world from what I've seen and heard. But I digress. The point is, the world is literally on fire, and this is what we're complaining about. Women being attractive. Women having curves. This is almost as bad as being obsessed over what a genital someone has. <laughs> so, Stutterblade, new Korean game that has recently hit the scene, has been the center of quite a bit of controversy. And some of the dumbest controversy I have heard people complain about in a long time. But why should I be surprised anymore? When that is pretty much what we complain about. At least over here in the West. I mean, I don't, but a large majority of the people over here do. So, as you can see by this image that I am showing, I might have to, uh, block out some of these physics, cause YouTube likes to, uh, YouTube likes to throw a fit about physics, cause, I mean, it's Western company, so of course it does. But, this, this is what we're, this is what we're upset about. An attractive female character. Okay then. Oh, and before I hear anyone scream, that that's not what the female form actually looks like. Sweetheart, this was a body skin of an actual Korean woman. I'm sorry that over here in America, the Big Mac capital of the world, that most of you, or a large portion of you, could not have hoped to retain this body. And as a woman who wishes to obtain this body, by the way, I'm not that far off, so before you, again, before anybody makes a comment, I'm actually not that far from this shape. My real form is not far from this shape. Yes, this is attainable if you stop eating fast food <laughs> and actually, you know, do something other than complain all the time, but from a woman who would love to be able to attain this shape, I'm not at all offended or upset by this. Like, th this isn't a problem. Like, this this isn't a issue to me. Yes, but that, yes, this, this is, we, we got some comments here that, that are right on the nose. Sex appeal, sex appeal for men, everybody let's scream. Yeah, and uh, we're, we're gonna blank out the, this one right here because, TLS proved, but 
literally people be freaking were like throwing a fit and in love with the fact that there was literally a new mod for for Leon no more than a few days ago and then all of a sudden this comes out and now we've we've we you think that we didn't see you know this this right here double standards definitely definitely there is a terrible double standard when it comes to the video game industry where especially here in the west where women aren't allowed to be attractive because for some reason it is objectifying them all right all right but yet we can do all of this we can do this we can do this with male characters and it's and it's okay I don't know about you, I prefer the female figure over the male figure, but even I have reached my limit with this nonsense. This, this is this is insanity, and it's only getting worse. But allow me to uh, allow me to elaborate for you. This right here, the new X Men animated series. Do do you notice something? The top one is the new one. The bottom one is the old one from the 80s and 90s that we all, well, not I can't say we all, but a number of us remember and grew up with. Do you notice something? Rogue has no more uh, assets. The Storm. Storm's assets have been removed. And in the bottom one, also, by the way, Rogue over here on the far uh, upper left, that is about my body's shape now, roughly. As I said, not that far off, but yeah, this is a real shape. I am a real woman with a real body, and this is a real thing. I mean, there's a sudden problem, the sudden issue with women being both strong attractive and feminine like it, it it seems like america wants to get rid of one or the other if you are strong you can't be sexy it's not possible it's not real apparently to at least the western society and if it, if you are attractive you can't be strong and if you are strong you can't be attractive. I know many a women who are all of these things and more. This is getting really old and really ridiculous. Like there, there's no reason for this. This whole Puritan movement to censor women and the fact that so many women are leading into it is disgusting because it's not about making you feel powerful it's not about protecting your image or making you feel represented it's about making you a housewife that is barefoot imprinted all the time which by the way that comment exists down here we can get a pregnant jean gray but we're not allowed to have women bottom this is this is a perfect example there's, of course, there are other comments from other individuals. It's so sad, man. It's like women that wear skin-tight suits aren't allowed to have feminine features anymore. It's the truth. It's truth. Women aren't allowed to have feminine features anymore. Especially if you're a strong man, which Rogue is considered a strong woman because her superpower is... But well, technically, her main superpower is stealing your superpowers. <laughs> If she holds on to you long enough, she can actually perma permutate them for those that don't know exactly how Rogue's powers work. And, and one of those that she got was super strength, another one is flight. Because not every shot can be a sexy shot. And, and right here, it has nothing to do with sexy shots. It has to do with basic female form. Yes. 
Yes. Anyone who studies anatomy, actual anatomy in an actual art class, hi. One of the things you are taught is how to draw the human form. And they put, they send in nude models, so you actually learn how the form is supposed to look. And women have curves. It just is what it is. We are curvy creatures. We are round. And I don't very much appreciate being insulted and having those shapes taken away because you want to design characters that aren't attractive or aren't strong and everything has to be watered down and dumbed down. This is another excellent comment. Didn't realize how much of Rogue's ass I saw during my childhood. <laughs> we did see a lot of Rogue's ass in our childhood. But that's not either here nor there. The bigger point is that's because it was never objectified, and it wasn't. It wasn't about objectifying her. She was just an attractive female character. Yeah, it was never, hey, look at my nice ass. Yeah, no. It was just there. And there's nothing wrong with that. Except these individuals keep making it an issue, and that is the problem. People make it a problem. And once again, Caraval says it best with a lot of the times when a strong character is sexy, they use that sex appeal to their advantage. Rogue did that as well. Yes, she did. Yes, she did. So why remove that part of their character trait when it's clearly a benefit to them? It's so stupid. It is. It's dumb. It's ridiculous. There's no, there's no reason for it. If you want to see really how bad it's getting, people are claiming Lusamine is a child and that this is pedophilia. This means for Pokemon, by the way. I'm not a, a, a big Pokemon fan. For those of you that watched me play Pop World, I thought Pop World was a Pokemon game at first. I'm surprised that Nintendo didn't cancel me instantly. <laughs> but no, seriously. Seriously. Uh, Lusamine is a Pokemon character. And Lusamine is 40 years old with two children. Are you serious? Right now. This is not a child. Even Witter. Witter, of all places, noted that she is 40 plus years old. With two kids. You know it's bad when the actual garbage like social media platform is telling you you're a moron. I'm surprised they didn't try to, like, claim that because she's 40 with two kids, that she is unrealistic. <laughs> Which is also a lie, by the way. I know plenty of women that age who have had children, and they are gorgeous. Many of them look better than some 20-year-olds. This is, this is, this is, a, this is the Western issue is that it, it is a war on women is what it is it literally is just the war on women it's nothing more than that i do not get why people keep looking at really obviously fully grown characters with curves and everything is green boo pita ew pedo bait even characters in their 40s don't pass the smell test with these people what exactly is going on there they can like i say it's a war on women and we've already seen it with making abortions illegal, making birth control harder and harder to get. It's it's all interconnected. That has been the most recent bit of insanity that has been going on on Twitter recently. I'm sorry, this one, this uh, video was a little bit more of a rant than it was so much being forwarded. But honestly, I've been seeing this happening more and more with more and more Western companies, both in video games, media, all of it. Just outright blatantly attacking, you know, female figures, you know, natural beauty, and complaining about stuff like this. And I'm just overall tired of seeing it, and I'm tired of people defending it like it's some type of like a good thing. It's not a good thing. This isn't helping us as women. And the women that feed into this nonsense and think that this is in somehow, some way, help 
to us as a gender, as a whole. It's just absolutely ridiculous. And I did it, it needs to stop. But that's gonna be it for me on this one. I have been Nimda.exe. I hope you have enjoyed this video as much as I enjoyed making it. It really sounded like I didn't enjoy it, but I did enjoy it. And once again, I'm going to ask for you to please like and please subscribe. Please share with your friends because I like making videos like these, but they get suppressed. The first one I made about the TikTok fan instantly got suppressed by YouTube, as I knew it would. But all of my audience and my followers told me they loved it, so I made another one. So I hope you guys like this. Please let me know. Don't hesitate to let me know what you like, what you didn't like. And until next time, guys, bye-bye. Take care out there. Wake the fuck up, Severi.